everybody, this is Chad here with round two, back again with another product spotlight for June 2022. Another big month for June, so we're going to jump in and show you guys for 164 scale. We've got five releases for Johnny Lightning, we've got a release for Auto World, uh, a new Auto World Deluxe two packs that are coming out. There's going to be five 118 scale Auto World cars that we're going to show you guys. There's two Auto World slot car releases we're going to show you guys. There's five model kits that we're going to jump in with and a model kit accessory. So we're going to get started. We're going to go right into the 164th. So starting off with 164th, we're going to do Johnny Lightning here. Our first one is going to be our, our next release for our Johnny Lightning military cars. So this is a six car set. There's two color variations, a version A and a version B for these. And we call this release Wheeled Warriors. So first car in the release is the World War II Dodge WC57 command car. This is the Operation Torch uh, car. Version A here, typical military uh, look to it, has the sand color with the uh, vinyl top on it. But for version B, we did something a little different and this is a seized version. So this one has been seized by German forces and has some changes to uh, some of the decals that are put on the side of it, the flag that's put on the front, the top is off of it. Just a, uh, a cool variation for uh, for that command car. Next up, the Humvee Armament Carrier. First version here, version A. This is the United Nations Peacekeeping uh, Mission. This is a clean version. A lot of extra little parts and pieces thrown on here. Uh, exhaust stacks, a grenade machine gun on it, uh, a couple other like water fording um, pieces here. And the second version is the dirty version. So you can see all the dust and dirt thrown up on it. Third in the release, we've got the up-armored Humvee. So uh, different parts on this, some newly tooled parts on this. Uh, it's got the anti-IED device with the tactical bumper on it, heavy machine gun, uh, turret and a blast shield on top. A lot of really, really cool features on that. First version is in just the sand, uh, sand color. Second one, it's got that dirty, dusty variation. It actually has an army green hood on it, so it looks a little more pieced together. The next in the release are Willie's Jeep. First version here, this is the World War II uh, Western Desert Campaign Special Air Service vehicle, so it has the little target on the top of it there. Again, more of a clean version for this version A. Version B, we've kept with the seized versions of the vehicle here. So you can see that the uh, on the hood, we've changed the decal on that. We've done a more of a dirty look for it on that version. Next up is the German Panther G tank, version A here. This is World War II Western Front in Europe, Battle of Overloon for this one. So there you got your German tank there. And then the seized version here being an American version seized and repurposed and lastly we've got the M1A1 Abrams tank this is for the uh, invasion of Iraq first version here more of a clean version camo on it a ton of detail on these you can see the extra pieces here the minesweepers on the top and the second is that dirty version of it Next up for Johnny Lightning, so that's everything for military, we have our release for the Muscle Cars USA. Now last month we showed version A of these cars, this is now the version B of it. So there'll be six cars of these, if you want to check out the first color variations, be sure to check out May's video. First one being the 1980 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. Here it is in blue, has a blue bird on the hood. If you remember from last month it was in an orange color. Second in the release, the 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1. Here it is in Calypso Red. Or Calypso Coral, rather. The name color, color name. 1970 Dodge Coronet Super B, third in the release. In this dark blue. The lighter blue stripe wrapping along the trunk there on the back. Fourth in the release here. 1965 Pontiac Catalina 2 plus 2 Royal Bobcat. Here it is in red. Red line tires on it, chrome wheels. Fifth in the release, 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS 454. 
It's in gray here with the black SS striping and red interior. And sixth in the release, the 1967 Chevy Corvette 427. Here it is in green, striping on the uh, on the top there, on the Stinger hood, and the red line uh, red line tires on that. Next up for Johnny Lightning, we're gonna keep going. Ton of stuff. We got storage tins, a new release for storage tins of Johnny Lightning. Three in these A's and B's of them. First being the 1968 Ford Mustang GT with all of our collector tins. Uh, for anybody who hasn't seen them, comes with these great metal storage tins that you can put the car in. First one is in white here the red striping along the side of it, black striping along the top, and second is in green and it has yellow striping along the side. Another great looking color variation for that. Second, we've been doing a lot with Nikki lately uh, out of Chicago here. 1967 Nikki Chevy Camaro. First version is in light green, has the uh, Nikki detailing on it, and of course the storage tin, matching storage tin that comes with it. And black and red for the second one, red striping on the top, red interior. Really, really looks awesome on that car. And then lastly for the this collector tin release, the 1970 Dodge Challenger RT. First version in orange. Black detailing on the hood there, black on that wing on, uh, on that version A. Chrome wheels. Second variation is in blue with blue color matched wheels, red centers, and all blue instead of having the, uh, the black striping variation like the first one has. Next up, we also have in Johnny Lightning two releases of two packs. So each of these two packs, there's uh, two color variations and then three two packs. So first off, we're going to show you guys this one. This is a Zinger 2-pack, 2011 Chevy Camaro, and the 73 Chevy Cheyenne fleet side. Really cool looking for this one. The square body Zingers have really been doing well. Uh, first version is in blue, um, blue and white. You got orange for the Camaro on top. Big blown engines like all those Zingers have, and this even has the light bar on the back of it and a brush guard, which is just some really cool detailing. The second color variation for that puts the Camaro in a dark blue color white striping on the hood, and you've got the truck in orange and white two-tone. Next up in those two packs, we have Off-Roads with the 1969 Chevy K10 Blazer up on top there and a 2004 Hummer H2. Tan and white for that Blazer has the roof rack um, that we've been using in Johnny Lightning here. It's got the, uh, the gas cans on it, really cool looking, and of course the camo pattern on that Hummer H2 with those off-road, big knobby off-road tires. And the second variation, green and white on the top, and more of a uh, monochromatic camo pattern on the H2 there at the bottom. Again, with those big knobby off-road tires, really, really looks awesome. Third for this set of two-pack, this is JLPK015, by the way, item number, boogie van two-pack. I absolutely love the boogie vans, and what's really cool about this two-pack, we took vans that had... Um, factory options on them. So the top one being the 1976 Dodge Street van, and the bottom being the 1977 freewheeling Ford van. These were both factory striping packages that were done during the height of the boogie van era by Dodge and by Ford there. And for the second variation, we did the street van with the other colors and that super famous 77 Ford cruising van so again, a very, very popular uh, colors for that. Ford did a matching Pinto back in the day um, for that one as well. Also for two packs, we have a whole other release for you guys. Again, three different two packs, two color variations for each one, so six total. Um, first being our class of 1972. The 1972 Ford Mustang convertible up there on top. And on the bottom, the 1972 Chevy Chevelle heavy Chevy version. You can see it is in red with the uh, black striping on the side. And the other color variations here, green on top, all the silver detailing and all the details along the side, and blue on the bottom with white interior and white striping on that Chevelle, heavy Chevy. Next two pack is our Baldwin Motion two pack, a 69 Chevy Camaro ZLX Phase 3 in orange on up top there. 
black striping, black wraparound uh, stripe also on the trunk, and the 1973 Chevy Camaro Phase 3 on the bottom in green. Again, with that Baldwin Motion striping on it. What's cool about these is we also uh, retooled the scoops for the hood that are on these uh, vehicles to bring out these Baldwin Motion variations. So, be a really fun one to look for. And there's the other color variation here. The Camaro is in black with white interior, white striping on the top for that 69. And the 73 Camaro in red, again, with all the Baldwin Motion, big stripe going down the side of it. That big hood scoop and that white striping on the top. Next, this is a new series that we're doing, the Import Heat GT 2-Packs. So this is a really fun one. We're taking a lot of our Import Heat style cars and doing them in the style of uh, Japanese GT racing. First one being the 2006 Nissan 350Z. This is done on a very famous Nissan uh, Nismo livery uh, based on that car with all the red and silver detailing on it. Yokohama ad van uh, tires, white letter tires on it, yellow headlights, and the second being a race version of our 1981 Mazda RX-7 in yellow with red and orange striping, red center on the wheels. Really cool looking uh, variation for that. And the version B for import heat GT here, the 2006 Nissan 350Z in the Yokohama livery with silver black and red detailing, red lip on the uh, tires, black wheels, again, the Yokohama Advan, uh, white letters on those tires, and that monochromatic 81 Mazda RX-7 on the bottom there. Just super cool looking, number 13 on, on that car. And then lastly, so that's everything for Johnny Lightning. I told you guys we had a lot of stuff this month in 164th. We have these coming out in Auto World as well. So these are our Auto World Deluxe 2-packs, and these are coming to Target exclusively for Target. They wanted a two-pack at a, at a good price point, so if you remember our deluxe castings from Auto World, they have a plastic uh, base, and they have a uh, hard tires on them, but they come in at a, at a lower price point. We're able to do still true 164th bodies on these. So the first version is our Pony Power two-pack. 1986 Ford Mustang SVO, that Fox Body Mustang on top, and the 69 Mercury Cougar XR7 on the bottom. Version A in dark blue. For that Mustang, gray interior, and a beige color with a black vinyl top for that Mercury Cougar. Version B, you see the Fox body in red, and the Mercury Cougar in light blue, again with the vinyl top. Then the other versions coming in for these two packs, this is our Modern Muscle 2017 Dodge Viper GTC for that top car and a 96 Firebird uh, TA underneath. Bright green, color for the Viper on top, great looking car, great detailing for it, and uh, this is a dark green color for that Pontiac Firebird version A on the bottom. Of course with that 90s GM gray interior color uh, that they were so known for in the 90s. Second variation, another great color uh, with that dark purple on that Viper up top, and silver with gray interior, chrome wheels on that Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. And then lastly, the Corvette Classics uh, Deluxe 2-Pack. So the 2011 Chevy Corvette Z06 there on the top, and the 1967 Chevy Corvette 427 on the bottom. First variation being in blue for the Corvette. Actually has uh, numbering on the side of it. It's track numbering on the side of it there. And it's a dark red color um, for the bottom, the 67 Corvette. And version B, bright orange up top on that 2011. And uh, that's a dark blue for the 1967 down there at the bottom. With, of course, white striping on it. So that is everything for 164th. A ton of stuff. Next, we're going to jump in and show you guys 118. All right, so jumping into the 118 scale cars, we've got five cars to show you guys and a unique uh, variation or variety uh, between these cars. So first off, we're going to start with the truck. Our 1980 Dodge D-150 Pick'em-Up Utila line. So... This is really cool. Um, this has a newly tooled hood and a newly tooled uh, quad headlight front grill on it. So the first time we're able to do the 1980 uh, for this truck before we'd done some Warlocks and some other stuff with this casting. Um, we started off with the pick -em up with these great looking striping down the side of it. It's got the Dodge at the bottom of the door there and the striping that wraps around the top of the hood that fade from yellow to this dark um, brownish red color super period correct super of era and these trucks are 
coming back and getting more and more popular, so we're really excited to bring this one out. Also has Goodyear uh, white letter tires on this, opening doors, hood, and tailgate, detailed engine, steerable front wheels, precise accuracy, detailed chassis, and of course that with that newly tooled front end and, and new hood. So should be a great one. Really excited to bring that one out. Jumping back into something else completely different. This is the next release for our 1935 Duesenberg SSJ Speedster. So Duesenberg guys will know that there were only two of these SSJ Speedsters that were built. One for Clark Gable, one for Gary Cooper. Both those actors had their cars repainted uh, when they were sent out, once they received their cars. This Duesenberg SSJ Speedster is done in Yukon Gold and Chocolate Brown. This is how Clark Gable's car was sent to him from Duesenberg. So this is the first time we've done it in the OEM colors that Duesenberg wanted the car to be in before they were uh, before they were sent off for repaint. So these have awesome detailing to them, these 1930s era uh, cars. There's opening doors and hood on this. Of course, detailed engine, steerable front wheels, precise accuracy, same as our other 118 scale cars. We can get a look at the back there too uh, to get a little more information about this car. And another one that's really fun, it's nice being able to bring a third color to a car that there were only two of. So next up, uh, we talked a couple months back about our 118 scale Barbie cars. So we did the 1957 Chevy Bel Air convertible. Um, if you remember, the first one we did was in a light blue with pink interior, uh, pink and white two-tone interior. This one is bright Barbie pink and the interior is white with pink inserts. So a little different there. What these cars are based on, we've been working with our Mattel licensing, and uh, as we mentioned before, in the 80s, Mattel did do a 1957 Chevy Bel Air convertible for Barbie um, as a toy. They were really collectible. They were great looking cars. Their first one was blue, like our first one. Their second one was pink, like our second one here. And this is a great variation of Barbie's car in exceptional detail as a 118 scale with all the chrome trim and all the extra bits and pieces on it. Um, some of the cool things that we've added to the car, we've got the Barbie name on the dash and on the light, or on the seats there, and then on the, uh, on the back tonneau, that Barbie ponytail logo on the back there with white wall tires, pink line, and a lot of really cool details in it. So we're really excited about bringing these out. Uh, the blue one's been getting a lot of good feedback, and expect to see some more pretty cool Barbie 118 stuff coming up in the future. Next up, we've been talking about Nikki. We just showed the two packs for Nikki. This is our 2017 Nikki Chevy Camaro SS. 1LE. Here it is in Krypton Green. These Nikki cars have been really popular. Has the Nikki striping on the side of it with that Nikki logo and the black hood. Again, great detailing on this um, for this 1LE car. As with all the other ones, steerable front wheels, opening doors, opening hood, and an opening trunk on this model um, with that detailed engine and detailed chassis as well that you can see underneath there. And there's a look at the back of that too. Let's get some more information about Nikki. Again, these have been really fun. Those guys have been awesome to work with. And then lastly for 118, jumping into uh, American Muscle cars, the 1971 Dodge Charger RT. So one of the more muscly cars of the 71, uh, 71 cars. This is a super cool one. It's in bright blue metallic um, color here. It has blue interior blue matching wheels, the uh, air grabber scoop on it, and the interior has a lot of cool detailing in it. Um, all the wood paneling that you can see, or wood grain uh, in the interior. It's really a great looking model. Um, again, opening doors, hood, and opening trunk on this model as well. Detailed engine, steerable front wheels, all that good stuff. And a look at that chassis underneath. You can see all that detailing as well. So that is everything that we've got for 118 scale. Next, we're gonna jump in and show you guys all the model kits. Okay, so jumping right into model kits, we have some pretty cool stuff to show you guys. The first thing I'm gonna show you is our new model uh, accessory coming out. So these are the light commercial classic emergency flasher bars. So these are great for any kind of kit you're building. If you wanna do police cars, tow trucks, ambulances, whatever you wanna do. Uh, we've got a couple chrome trees here to do the flasher bars and then molded in clear yellow red and blue underneath so these are always fun to put out these different kits and you can see on the back there just talking about some of our rat fing stuff and uh and well, we've done a lot of fun kits wheel kits uh tire kits and just another thing for all you guys who want to build your own custom stuff out there jumping into the full-on 
automotive kits that we're doing uh, for this month. First off, this is a fun one, the 2005 Cadillac Escalade EXT. So it's been a while since this kit has been put out. I love the, uh, the box art that's on the front of this. It looks really awesome. This is a fun one. These Escalades are super, uh, super well known for customizing. So I'm really excited to see what you guys do with scratch builds and stuff with this kit. There's some pretty cool stuff that comes with it as well. It does have a couple options for tires. Uh, you can see the features here, the detailed chassis uh, with that separate front and rear axles. It's got clear red taillights for it. The interior, uh, modern interior. We've got that 5.3 liter uh, V8 engine uh, in the kit as well. And this is a pretty easy build. Uh, has the factory stock and custom wheels that come with it. So depending on which way you want to build it, you can see the factory stock wheels here. The custom bigger rims are on the front and you can get a good look at those uh, on this parts tree as well where you can see the bigger wheels, stock wheels, tires, and then all the other pieces. So a pretty simple kit uh, actually to put together, but like I said, really excited to see what all you guys, all you custom guys do with this Escalade. So next up, we got another GM for you guys. Another one that will be fun to do a lot of custom stuff with. This is the 1962 Corvette three in one kit. So um, there's some pretty cool stuff that comes with this. It's got pre-decorated tires, an expanded decal sheet, vintage style packaging. It's got that uh, the retro deluxe style um, and the art style on the front where it's just the open box. But the first one uh, being the custom shown on the front, you can build this as stock as well. There's a look at the stock one here. Um, there's a racing version and then the well, I guess this is the racing version. The full custom is this one here, which is wild. It's got this hood. There's an option for double blowers that are going on the side there or the single blower with no hood like there is on the top. There's a tonneau cover that's separate with it. There's a roll bar, a lot of really cool features. And you can see on the back there some of those options and a look at some of that striping and, and numbers on that decal sheet. So this is a really fun kit with a lot of different options. We're excited to see how you guys mix and match these options together and really make it your own. So fun one for Corvette guys. Next up, we're gonna jump into some stuff for all the semi-truck guys. So this is one that was out several years ago, the Ford LN 8000 race car hauler. Uh, we're bringing it back, it's been requested. We've been doing a lot of other uh, hauler kits and race kits. So this one has over 70 chrome parts, bonus pre-lettered slicks in it, uh, authentic decal artwork. Kept the same vintage style packaging that we'd had on there before. Uh, of course, this is just the hauler truck, doesn't include the vehicle, but you can put any kind of car that you would like on it. There's a look at the parts tree on the back and you can see those Mach 1 uh, decals that come with it, striping, and just all those different parts on this truck here. And you can get a look also on the side at some of the, uh, some of the highlights of this kit. You can see the roof lights, the engine, wheels and tires, and that detailed cockpit frame. Again, really fun kit to build out. Next up for the semi-truck guys, this is our next variation for our Kenworth conventional W9250. So we're bringing this out uh, with our Coca-Cola license. So this one's really cool. It goes with, uh, we've done the GMC General, we've done uh, the Western Star, a couple other Coca-Cola kits. So this one has a new decal sheet with a ton of different options here on it to build that one out to go with all the other trailers and trucks that we've put out. There's a look here at some of the features on this one, over 300 parts on it. Another huge big rig kit. Should be a very fun build for that. And a look at that giant parts tree back there. And then switching gears from automotive to pop culture, we've got the new, we've got the uh, Batman Forever Batwing coming out. So a couple months ago, we showed you guys the Batman Forever Batmobile. Uh, talked about how we've got the Joel Schumacher license and we've been bringing out some of this uh, Joel Schumacher tooling. So this is a great companion kit for the Batmobile. This is a 132nd scale Batwing here. Uh, you can see it is molded in black. Comes with a decal sheet, which uh, works well for the display base because this does have a uh, dome display base with it. And there's a lot of cool uh, features when you're building this kit up. You can do it with the canopy open or closed and it has some separate, uh, some good dimension to it, which you can see on the back here with the cutout wing panels. There's a look at that display stand that comes with it, that detailed cockpit, chrome engine detail. Uh, again, it's got that tinted clear canopy that comes with it, injected in black. 
and it builds out to about 13 and a half inches long. So we will have some other uh, Joel Schumacher Batman stuff coming out in the future that we are really excited about. And then one last kit for you guys. This is a sci-fi kit for you. That's a really fun one. This is the UFO from Area 51, uh, 148 scale. So this is a fun kit. It was a Lindbergh kit uh, back in the day. But it is a real fun, uh, real fun UFO uh, kit for this one. Great box art on the front of it there with that painting style. But what's really cool about this kit is kind of the way, the different ways that you can build it. Uh, you can paint the saucer in three different ways. You can paint the exterior shell, um, which is a clear. You can paint that silver if you want a smooth dome look or the shell underneath. You can do, um, you can paint it so it has a little more detail to it or you can even paint parts of the clear dome uh, silver and you can peer into it and put the little alien figures in there. It comes with a, a Area 51 guard figure, detailed bridge, gravity amplifiers uh, with that interior detail, and just a really fun kit. Builds out to 13 inches wide for this one and should be a great build, build for all you sci-fi guys. So that's everything for our model kits. Lastly, we're going to jump in and show you guys slot cars. So jumping into slot cars for Auto World, first what we've got for you guys is a new release for Thunderjack cars. So this is our Cars and Coffee. You guys remember us doing the Cars and Coffee program before. Uh, this is a six car set, two color variations of each for these Thunderjet chassis. First one being the 1972 Buick GS. Here it is in gray. The black vinyl top, white letter tires on that one. Second variation in red with a white vinyl top on this one. And again, white letter tires on it. Second in the release, 1957 Chevy Bel Air. These are a little more custom for this Cars and Coffee program. First one with the flames down the side of it in that great yellow color. Of course, the 57's got the big wing and all the uh, silver on the back for that version A. Second is in more of a lowrider style. Has kind of that paneling look in that purple color, the paneling along where the uh, trim would be on the fins on the back. Really cool looking variation for that for Cars and Coffee. Next up, Mr. Norm's 1964 Dodge 330. First is in red with that Grand Spaulding Dodge livery down the side of it. That little ram running. And the second is an all black version here. Another great looking uh, version for that 330, Mr. Norm's. And the 1966 Ford GT40, first variation here, red and gold, gold wheels, red detailing on the top there, or on the uh, hood. And for version B, all red with the gold wheels and the white striping across the top. Fifth for Cars and Coffee, the 1968 Chevy Camaro Z28, first one being in black. The white uh, double stripes across the top, of course. And the second variation is in gold with a black vinyl top. You've got that detailing along the side for the trim along the vinyl and the black double stripes going across the hood and down the trunk. And lastly, the 1964 Ford Thunderbolt. First version here is in this dark burgundy. Again, with all the racing details down the side of it. And the second is in white. Again, it has that raised, uh, that raised hood on it. Great looking detailing on that one. That's everything for Thunderjet. We also have in slot cars a uh, three car set for four gear. So these are our NHRA set. Top fuel dragsters, first being Steve Torrance, the Capco car. Is in black and red. Get on that extended four gear, big four gear chassis. Perfect for our pro racing drag strips that we do. Second car we did Clay Millikan's Parts Plus car. Black and blue. And third, Doug Coletta's Mac Tools in silver, red, and black. So that is everything that we got for you guys. Slot cars, model kits, 164 scale, 118 scale. A lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool stuff coming. 
There is so much to show you guys, so much that we haven't talked about yet. Again, go on our Facebook pages to get sneak peeks early. Go on our Instagram pages to check out some of that stuff. Go on round2corp.com and see what we've got there. Thank you guys again for watching these videos. See you in July.